Welcome to the inaugural episode, the first episode, the first edition of the Slime Fest Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get right into it. The Slime Fest Podcast is all about talking about all the pop culture things that's going on in hip hop and hip hop culture, music, basically hip hop, the stories, the storylines, uh, you know, all of, you know, all of the, you know, the, 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 the trending thing, trending topics that are going on in the hip hop world. I had the hip hop slime battle rap podcast, but that was more so catered towards battle rap. Now, with the Slime Fest podcast, now we can get into um, some of the other stuff that's going on in hip hop outside of battle rap. Um, some of the trending topics, and we can just, you know, we can just, uh, you know, shed our opinion and, you know, talk about it, bust it up, you know, and get and get down to the nitty gritty, so to speak, right? So we know what it is this time. We know what it is this time around. It's all about the Kanye Donda album. It's all about the Drake uh, 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 Certified Lover Boy or CLB album. Um, for me, I'm, I'm gonna get straight to it. For me, the Donda wasn't it for me. I get that thing a five out of ten. I think I might I like like maybe two, three joints um, about that whole project. I'm probably not gonna go back to it for real, for real. Like listening to the whole project, I'm probably not gonna fuck with it again. I'm probably not gonna play again. I might the songs I like, I might come back to them if I if they show up on one of my playlists that I put together. Maybe you know what I mean. But I, I wasn't I wasn't really feeling like all that hyping it up, all that waiting, all the stadium. I get it, man. I get it. At first, I, first of all, I heard you heard you made seven million. I heard you heard you made over seven million dollars from those um, tours, from those um, stadium listening parties. Now, I'm not mad at you doing three. In fact, if I made seven million dollars off off two, because well, I don't know the numbers off the third one you had in Chicago, I don't know. But if I made seven million, I'd probably be thinking about having a fourth listening party and, and get some new versions and switch the whole other shit around. Like that's the type of thing. I, that's how I would be thinking. If I can, if I can, if I, if I'm hitting you over the head and I'm getting seven million off two joints, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at like that. I probably can get twenty. Maybe if I switch this verse around, if I add this person to this verse, and that's what he was doing. He was changing up the verse, changing up the experience. Took Jay Z verse off, put the baby on on the album. Jay Z's verse is there, the baby's not there. Like, is you know what I mean? He just was switching it up, creating the experience. And I'm like, you know, if you're doing it like that, you could take take a nigga off, put a nigga. On. Like, you could do anything. I probably would've aimed to do another one. I probably would've aimed to try to do another one. Like for real. Like, but Donda's not for me, man. I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, I don't wanna shit on it too crazy, but Donda's not for me. And yeah, it's, that's that's just what it is for me. Like I ain't, I wasn't really feeling it. Now, certified lover boy. I heard it. I heard it in this full, in its entirety. I only heard it once so far. Um now the difference between Donda and Certified Lover Boy, I think I'm I think I am gonna go back to Certified Lover Boy and play it again, run it again. Check. I might hear some stuff I didn't see. Uh, I love the features. Um, yeah, I love the features. It wasn't too feature heavy. Like to me, no disrespect to Khaled, but to me, this Don this shit my. It, it sound like a, a Khaled album. He just went and got the best. And was, no disrespect to Khaled because Khaled is actually producing, and putting those records together. He's going to get the best artists in the world. Yes, but he's also, you know, putting those, putting those, putting those tracks together from scratch, and that's he's pre- technically producing. And that's his. That's the genius in Khaled. So no disrespect to Khaled whatsoever, but Khaled's not an artist. With this Kanye thing, he just got a lot of features. It's all over the place. It feels like a Khaled album. Like it feels like he was trying to do what Khaled does. So it is what it is. Um, I like the Drake features. Going back to the Drake album, I like the Drake features. Like they were they were placed well. Like the people, the features he got, they were put. It wasn't too much. It was they was right. They was at they was on the songs they pulled they should have been on that they needed to be on, so to speak. Um he had a little cameo from Nicki Minaj. I thought that was dope. Um so um for me, I gave Certified Lover Boy a seven out of ten. So not too much better than Donda, but I, I, I enjoyed it more than than than, than what the, the Kanye Donda shit was um offered. But here's what I had to say, right? All this hyping up, all this trying to drop on the same day, uh, blah, 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 trying to do what Universal did back in the day with Kanye and 50 Cent, drop on the same day, compare the album sales, compare the album, blah, 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 stream it up. Uni- at the end of the day, Universal wins because they're both signed to Universal technically, right? For these albums to sound the way they sounded, I think this is a whole bunch of hype for nothing. And in fact, after I listened to both albums, I sat back and I said, damn. This actually might this, this this actually might solidify that J Cole got the album of the year. How many more albums is going to drop this year? September, October, November, December. You're going to get some more albums that's going to drop. But how many albums are going to drop this year from artists that can possibly have a better rap album than what J Cole offered? 
And that's, and that's, and that's I'm going to give you straight up. All this Donda, all, I, I get all the hype is around it. Everything's going on. J. Cole is confirmed now. Currently standing. And I'm listening to her. anybody else that has another album. It might be some, you know, it's, it's a lot of uh, lesser known artists that put out great projects that people don't know about. But on the very, very high level, on the top level, J. Cole has the best album this year. Donda's not better than it. Certified Lover Boy is not better than it. And I'm hearing Kendrick talking about smoking on top five. I don't know if he's gonna drop a project this year, but he might be the last hope to compete with um, what J. Cole offered with the offseason. Offseason is the best rap album this year, period. So far. Right? Um, and I like what Drake did with the billboard review. The billboard reveals, like, yo, the greatest of all time is on he, he put it in New York, yo, the greatest of all time is on CLB. Yo, uh, Houston, the, the, the savior of the cities. Like, you know what I mean? The, um, hero, the hero, hometown hero is on, uh, is on the album. Like, I, I thought that was like dope marketing. Expensive as hell, I believe, but I think that was dope, dope marketing on Drake's side. But um, um, off the Drake, off the Drake's uh, certified lover boy, off the Kanye Donda. I mean, let me talk about Meek Mill. Do Meek Mill have an album coming? Question mark. I heard sharing locations with Lil Durk, Lil Baby, fire. I heard the War Stories record where it sounded like you're talking about some personal, something that's going on in the hood in Philly, something that people probably don't know about, something that somebody probably got hurt off of or something like that. I don't know if you, you know, if he, you know, doing another Tony story or talking about some some stuff that really happened. The fact that I'm debating, the fact that I don't know if he's, if it's really happened or if it's not, fire. Blue Notes 2 featuring Lil Uzi, fire. Flamers Flow, fire. You see what I'm saying? Like, I like the way he's shooting the videos. I like the videos. I like the song. He's dropping one after another. Is a Meek Mill album coming into this year? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested because he's dropping some fire. And um, you, Meek Mill, when Meek Mill's in album cycle, that's usually when you see him the most. When he's not in album cycle, he usually a fall back. He might pop out on Twitter or Instagram or Clubhouse, say something crazy. But when he's, he's, in, he's in album cycle, he's, you know, he's, he drops, he drops, he drops. He's not being quiet. So he must be pushing the gas for something. Um, but there's no date that I heard of. So I don't know. Are we going to meet Mill Project this year, end of this year? Question mark. That'd be dope if we get a, a, a Meek Mill project um, prior to the end of this year. Versus news. Fat Joe versus Ja Rule is going down. It's official has been confirmed for versus Fat Joe versus Ja Rule. September 14th. That's another big moment for New York. I'm telling y'all right now. Fat Joe versus Ja Rule is going to be hit after hit after hit after hit. I'm telling you right now. These two guys right here is two, it's two people that, the two artists at least, that nobody in versus wanted to see for real, for real. I don't think nobody wants to stand in front of Ja Rule with all them hits he got. I don't think nobody wants to stand in front of um, Fat Joe with all the hits he got. If I'm if I'm if I'm gonna take a guess, I'm gonna lean towards Fat Joe because Fat Joe never stopped. You know, you can you can encapsulate Ja Rule's hit records from maybe what '99 to like early 2000s. You know, Fat Joe made all the way up not too long ago. Fat Joe got another joint with um with the Rihanna sample and the Luther Vent. So you know, Fat Joe can Fat Joe kept going. So I'm, I'm going to say Fat Joe got more hit records, but it's all about, you know how verses go. It's all about when you play the song, your performance, you know what I mean? How entertaining can you be and stuff like that. So it's other stuff that play into it. So I'm going to go with Crack on the verses, Ja Rule. And, and last but not least, man, Lil Nas X, man, you wildin' out. Look, man, I'm not homophobic whatsoever. In fact, when everybody was talking about the gay video, it was two gay kids, blah, blah, blah. I say, yo, let, let the kid make his music. Let him do what he want to do, right? Even in the, the fact The other thing is If you click take the video out The song is actually hard The song is actually hard Um Mommy when you want nah, 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 nah. Like the song is actually hard When you the video, I know the video is much If For a heterosexual man I know the video is, might, might not be much For um, For a heterosexual guy to watch But If you really If you just listen to the record The record is hard You know what I mean So It is what it is But Lil Nas X You wild With this You wild With the pregnant photos You know I know. I, I, I think it's. I think it's a theme for his album. Um, it says September seventeenth. He's like he's calling it like his dude. I think he's just promoting his album. The release. The release date of his album. But the pregnant photos, man. I, I, oh, man you wilding out, man. You just wilding like with that. And um, you got that, man. You got that, Lil Nas X. You got that. You wilding. I'm not here to criticize you, nothing like that. That that. It looks crazy. It looks nuts to me. Um, but you're doing that. But you know, to each his own. Uh, the funny thing is I'm actually going to check out the album When the album drop I'm going to actually check out The Lil Nas X album um, Because I actually think He makes um, hard records So But we'll see what it, is, it is what it is with that 
um that's that's it for the slime fest we in and we out see you guys next week i might have a sponsor um we we'll talk about some more hip-hop topics some more hip-hop culture topics and so forth and so on so make sure you rate subscribe and review and make sure you locked into the slime fest podcast